anticipated day has come. I've been looking forward to this trip for a long time, as in a week since I've known about it. About a week ago, I saw my buddy Jason Whitworth post on Instagram that he was going on a backpacking trip, fishing trip with his llamas. Um, him and his brother Dustin own backcountry logistics, logistics, logistics. Anyway, they rent out llamas. Uh, we're doing a llama pack trip up, trip up into the high country of some mountains here in Utah, and we're gonna go fishing for a few days off off the back of llamas. I don't, I don't think you actually ride them, but the good thing about this is you don't have to worry about being super ultra light. And talking to Jason, I guess each one of these llamas can haul like 80 pounds. So I got a lot of good gear loaded up in the back. I'm bringing my bedroll, bring a lot of food. We're gonna have a fun trip. It's always been something I've wanted to try taking these llamas. So uh, here we go. There they are. The power crew. We made it. Super secret location, you guys aren't allowed to know where we are. Um, it's really bouldery up here, but I'm not gonna say the name of the mountain. We pulled the trailer up a, a very questionable road, but the old Ford handled it just fine. And now we're gonna unload these buttes. These things have been <laughs> following me around. <laughs> so we got all the gear right here. Um, we got all the food in these square buckets. Got the Yeti loaded down with ice and all that stuff. Got the canvas cutter. Oh. Water. The best thing about this kind of camping is you do not have to pack light. I weighed everything before I came and it was like less than 50 pounds. So we should be in pretty good shape between four llamas that can haul 80 pounds a piece. This hike is gonna be like between one and 20 miles. Probably closer to the lower end of the spectrum, but is there anything you wanna add? Am I missing anything important? Nope. Let's get these fat llamas in shape. What are their names? Juan. Juan. Uh, that's Louie. Louie. And then Conquista. Conquista. That's A.A. Ron. A.A. Ron. Check yourself, A.A. Ron. This is the spread. That's a serious amount of gear to fit, plus all those buckets of food. Of course, we had to have a watermelon, because why not, right? <laughs> Might as well enjoy the finer things. Pork skins. You mark my words. Water. We will get all of this gear on four llamas. It's, a, it's a daunting. That's a lot of stuff. So this is how I packed. I put all my clothes and electronics, camera gear in that, that Yeti bag, all my food and cooking stuff in it. Yeti has all the cold stuff. Um, I'm gonna pack my kafaru on my back and then the canvas cutter is getting packed um, It's gonna be cold, but we have a kafaru teepee um, That we're gonna be crashing out in we didn't bring a stove or anything, but we'll be playing warm So we made it up to where we're gonna camp. These llamas, you just put them on a rope. We're gonna get a little longer piece for them, but just bring those dog stakes that go into the ground and got them staked out here in the meadow. It was a really mellow hike in, like not very far, not too hard. And now we're up here and we have most of our gear. We ended up having to ditch that one llama at the trailer. Jason had never packed on before and he kind of threw a fit. We were trying, trying, trying to load them up and uh, tried to kick me. It was really rude, hurt my feelings. 
and uh, so we left it at the trailer and so we had to leave some gear down there but really it's like an hour hike up here so we'll just go out sometime tomorrow and grab the rest of the gear that we need to bring up. It's snowing sideways out there and this teepee's still holding up pretty good. Got a little breakfast going on. A little bit of the hot ignite. This is my new fishing pack. Not sponsored. Bought it at Walmart for $9. Maybe it was $14. But I got all my fishing stuff in that little thing and it's like a bino harness. I'll just wear it on my chest. It's snowing still. You guys see the snow? Yeah, you can see it. If it mellows out a little, the lake's just right here below us. We'll go try it out. I want to catch a fish and eat it. It's gorgeous. Kind of cut over. Yeah, I can just cut over wherever. Side pond. Holy cow, that's beautiful. Think there's any big fish got trapped over here? I'm pretty good with captive audience. I'm definitely gonna throw a silver cast master because that's my automatic go-to first time. That's a pretty little eater fish. About the size you want to eat, right? We'll cook him up. I just caught three in a row right here. A rainbow, a tiger, and now a brook. So the other ones were quite a bit smaller. I'm not going to want to eat one because I love to eat fish. So all you purists out there might cry, but I'm going to eat that fish for lunch. Ted wants to eat him too. Honey. Second lunch fish of the day right there. Hey, you're packing fish too. It's like when they pick up, they pick up. Jason just walked around the corner holding a good brookie too, so there's lunch. Getting it down on a pretty little brook. Little Marabou jig, my all-time favorite. They're so pretty, man, the colors, and they got all their fins and stuff. Gorgeous fish. Oh. Feisty. There he goes. On to the next one. Fishing's been pretty decent. I think I'm up to, I think I've caught three, and Dustin's caught a couple, so Dustin. I keep calling you Dustin, and I can't get around it. Jason, anyway, keep fishing, never stop. Got the fire going. There's the three eater sized fish we caught. We found this little grill in our campsite. I think we're still gonna wrap them in foil. Got a little bit of Creole, Cajun seasoning in there. We'll season them up, wrap them up. Throw them in here when it cooks down a little bit. No better way. TP still holding strong. As you can see, our weather cleared a little bit, but just about two minutes ago here, it started snowing a little bit more, so. Springtime at high elevation. I think we're like at 10,000 something feet right here. All right, so this is the simplest, easiest way to cook fish on the fire. jason got the fire. He's gonna steal some coals out of it. We're gonna lay these trout in them, but all we'll do is we'll wrap them up, put a little bit of this Creole Cajun seasoning on the skin and inside of them. And when they're done, they look like that. And we just throw them in the coals. Easiest thing ever. Voila. Get this thing burned down a little bit more and get some coals. Hopefully before that gets here because it's starting to look ugly. 
Got them puppies sizzling away. Sound good. Been on there for a minute. This one is maybe a tad underdone. Skin's peeling off. White, flaky, and moist. Hmm. I don't care if it's underdone. It's delicious. Fish taco. Even got a little bit of mashed potatoes to add to the fish taco. Trout caught a couple hours ago. Mashed potato taco. Oh, it don't get any better. You a skin man? You eat the skin? Um, yeah, well, I ain't scared. What's your thoughts? It's freaking good. Ready? 